Hello, and welcome to This Grand Life. I'm Julie Alstrup, your hostess of the show, and I'm so glad that you could join us today, where we celebrate people who have inspired and empowered us, people who are in our community, and we share our stories to get those out into the bigger world. And as 2020 is starting, we have a little bit of a different format today. We've got Andrea, who we have been friends for a while, and we've spoken on stage together, and I've had the great honor of photographing you with your horses and your herd. So thank you so much for joining us today, Andrea. Thank you, Julie. It's my honor awesome. to be with you today. Awesome. We're going to have it mix it up a little bit. Obviously, we've got an online interview format, but the first thing I'd like to ask and just have you share with us, Andrea, is um, tell me what it means for you to be inspired. What what does that mean for you? How does that how does that manifest in your life? Um, well, I think inspiration can come in lots of ways and. For me, feeling inspired gives me energy. Um, there's passion behind that. There's excitement. There's drive. There's determination. Um, there's ultimately something behind me that is juicy and encouraging me to continue to do what it is or go after what it is that I say that I want. And so many times, Life gets in the way, obstacles get in the way, naysayers, um, the no, right? And so if you don't have that inspiration, that passion, that desire, that burning feeling behind you, it's gonna stop the minute somebody says no. And so for me, that's what really keeps me going towards what it is that I really say that I want and what makes my heart sing. Mm, I love that. You hit a lot of really great things like juiciness and fire and what makes your heart sing. So that's fabulous. And then, and then what about empowerment? How does that, what does that look like? And how does that show up for you in your life? Yeah, um, being a female in a male dominated, you know, legal system, I've always had to come from that place of empowerment. It's always been very easy for me to get shuffled to the side because as a criminal defense attorney, first of all, it's a male dominated world. And then because I specialized in sex offenses and domestic violence, it really made the women in my career path small. I think there was only about two or three of us in the you know, Larimer County, Weld County area that really specialized in that niche. Um, and now to break out from that career and start doing the equine gestalt work, which I'm now doing, I still had to come from a place of empowerment because I left a very powerful career and people were like, you're crazy. What are you doing leaving that? You know, because when you walk into a room and you say to somebody, I'm a lawyer, like, People bow down, ah, right? Yeah. And so to leave a status or a name behind and go off in a completely different direction, um, uncharted territory. I mean, uh, the equine uh, gestalt industry is just up and coming. I mean, before five, 10 years ago, if somebody said you work with horses, they would have went like, you got two horns, right? nobody would have understood what that is and now when i say i work with horses a lot of people go oh yeah i know my neighbor or so and so does that it's starting to become more mainstream you're starting to get scientific research on it it's definitely becoming something that is more popular and well known yet i still have to come from that place of strength and determination and knowing in my core who I truly am, who I want to be and where I'm going is really the empowerment and it allows me to stay focused on who I am, where I'm going and, and what I want to create and the legacy I want to leave behind in this world. Yeah, 
Yeah, and and tell tell us a little bit about your work with Withers Whisper and the the horse work and all of that. And, and I know that some of the work that you do, I'm not I'm going to let you share it, um, but the the work that you do with people and, and that work, if you share a little bit about that. Yeah. So my horses and I coactively partnered together in working with you know women lawyers, women executives that are really struggling because I was there, you know, I had a great career and then one day I woke up and went, what am I killing myself for? So I really started searching for what once again brought me passion and inspiration. Yeah. I love helping people, yet the criminal justice system was no longer conducive to my health, especially after I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I said, I got to get off the hamster wheel because I'm physically killing myself and so I was able to take my love for my horses and my passion of helping people and combine the two so now I help other women uh, get out of or figure out is this really what they want to do for the rest of their life and if they do how do we create that balance and if you don't like what's gonna make your heart sing again and we all have trauma from our past, no matter how much of a leave it to beaver life you lived in, we all have trauma. And so, you know, it's healing that unfinished business. And my horses are my lie detector. They can sniff out um, the truth in a minute because they're attracted to the energy of someone speaking their truth. So when you're in alignment and you're sharing your truth, the horses are attracted to that energy. They don't understand words or anything like that. However, they're energetic beings and they're in the moment and they're able to decipher when you are speaking your truth. And so when you speak your truth, the horses are attracted to that and want to join up with that immediately. So you get instantaneous feedback. You don't have to go out and talk to your friends. You don't have to go and mull it over. You know, your conscious mind gets out of the way and the unconscious comes through and the horse can validate for you that that's your truth. And so we are able to help people help people heal and figure out what is their true passion and what legacy do they want to leave on. So you know you've done that with the legal system and now you're you're working with individuals Andrea, I'm going to make sure that we get your um, information, contact information. So if there's anybody that wants to be in touch with you, um, we'll put that on the screen for sure. Um, and now it's time for you to share a story, um, something, somebody who you know, who's inspired you or empowered you, or maybe even somebody who you've worked with or something, um, you know, to share with our audience here, the greater community of inspiration and empowerment. Yeah, gosh, um, you know, there are so many people along the way that have inspired me at different points in time in my life and uh, empowered me, definitely, and given me strength, um, especially with some of the things that I've gone through, you know, with my health and, and leaving a career or even going into um, the legal industry and starting my law practice right out of law school, yet when you asked me that question before we started recording, the first person that thought I thought of was my mom. Mm. And the reason is, is because she too has overcome so many things. Um, you know, I remember when she was a hairdresser and working in a salon and decided to break out and open her own salon and my grandparents going, who does that, right? And my mom having the strength and the determination to do that, um, losing her husband and raising three kids and having a business and how do you go on after that and putting three kids through college and remarrying and, you know, all of the other things that she has taught me about success and drive and determination and how many times she finally got her business up and going and she thought it was going to be great and then the staff decided they were going to go open their own business 
like how many times do you have to start over? I remember having those conversations with her and knowing that at the end of the day, she was always going to make it happen. Wow. That's awesome. I want to meet your mom sometime. <laughs> we haven't met yet. I know you've told no. me about her some, but that is so beautiful and really powerful. Thank you so much for sharing that, Andrea. And I appreciate you being on this grand life today. Um, like I said, we'll get your contact information in the somewhere. And we've got some photographs of you with your horses and the beautiful connection that the two of you have. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us today. Please feel free to leave a message in the comments. If you would like to share this, I would love to have you share it out with the world, people who you think could use some inspiration and empowerment like Andrea has shared with us today. Thank you for joining us on This Grand Life. I am Julie Alstrup, where we celebrate people who have inspired and empowered us to live our best lives in 2020 and way beyond. This is our moment. It is becoming a movement. Have a great day.